The U.S. Border Patrol began in 1924 to deal with illegal traffic across the Texas-Mexico border. Well, today that organization and their jurisdiction is bigger. In fact, you might get a glimpse of them around town just by checking your rearview mirror. They started as an offshoot of the Texas Rangers. They've come a long way since then. From here to here. But at heart, they're still Mavericks. Welcome to the new U.S. Border Patrol. We don't know how long they've been here. We hadn't asked them how long they've been here yet, but they've already said they're from Mexico. Uh, they don't have any passports or documents to be here. No longer limited to the border. The New Orleans sector includes Lake Charles, Baton Rouge, Gulfport, Mobile, and New Orleans. New locations, same purpose. We are a, a coastal sector in the patrol. Uh, our purpose in the Border Patrol is to collect intel from the aliens that we are catching from the southwest border. And it's hands-on work. Uh, I didn't get a very good look at it. I'm going to just try and catch up to it and look at it again. And the U.S. Border Patrol is not just worried about human trafficking. As you can see here in this van just pulled over, it looks like it's full of people, but it's not. They're not real. They're just mannequins. Another aspect that the U.S. Border Patrol is trying to stop is drug trafficking. And for that, they employ this canine unit. Uh, we do get drugs because I-10 is a main vein coming from the southwest border and the drug loads get broken up and obviously come further into the United States, so we do get drugs also. Plus, most illegal immigrants aren't that interested in getting caught. Do not chase them over that hill! Nada. These guys, not so lucky. But for the Border Patrol, the arrests, they're just the beginning. Uh, as soon as we catch an illegal, we bring them to our station, to our processing center, and there we will get all of their biographical data. Oh, it's more than that. That fingerprint machine is linked to databases used by the FBI and DEA. Any warrants out there and the agents will know in minutes. Since 2002, the U.S. Border Patrol has come under the jurisdiction of the Department of Homeland Security. So it's not just important to send people back across the border, it's also important to gather as much intelligence as possible. And for that, they use this machine right here. It's called VTEL. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. With this video conferencing system, the agent can be physically located on the border while at the same time interviewing someone thousands of miles away and gathering much needed intel. You know, where they crossed, uh, see if we can pinpoint exactly exact what region or you know what canyon even uh, that they crossed in. Pretty much any information that we can get that would be pertinent to help those agents out on the southwest border. It's all in a day's work because like it or not, drug trafficking and illegal immigration are not going away from our area anytime soon. And the Border Patrol is currently on a national hiring drive. To learn more, go to their website. It is borderpatrol.gov. You must be 18, and yes, you do need to be a U.S. citizen.